Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. It's been a pretty stressful week for me because I've had a lot of exams. I've been at the library the whole week. I wasn't able to post videos every Monday just because of the schedule that I have. It's really hectic and sometimes I don't even sleep. Like, I mean, I do sleep, but you know, I only get like four hours of sleep sometimes because I have an exam today and I work as well. I would have an exam the next day and I had and I have to study for that after work which is going to be really late and then i have to come back home study and i only get to sleep like a couple hours and then i have to get back again i have to go to the gym and then go to you know do my exams and stuff and i feel like that's how it's going to be for a few years now because i am a pre-med major and it's just really hectic and it's I don't know I mean if you want to do it do it but if you don't really want to do it don't do it because it's really time-consuming and it's just gonna consume your whole life which I wouldn't want my life to be consumed but it kind of is so that's sad but whatever it's gonna be worth it in the end so yeah you just have to stick to it and if you're wondering where I got these glasses which you're probably not wondering that but if you want to know um, there is a company that I work for they are called live ho glasses they're a company in China and they're trying to expand their uh, product here in the US so basically what I do is so they send me glasses here through Amazon and basically what I have to do is just um, receive the package just basically write a review for them like if I like it if, like what I like about it and all that stuff and they pay me to do that which is a really good business for a college student it's a really good way of making money online and i really like them they're really cute um you should definitely check them out i will um put their instagram page right here so you guys should definitely check them out they have really cute glasses these are my favorite because i can wear these to school to work pretty much anywhere i wear them when i go out and stuff so i really like them Here's a clip of when I first received these glasses um, a few days ago and yeah I just got a text from my apartment like hey you have a package come get it and then I went down there and also I received chocolate from my friend um, from Indianapolis and yeah that was really sweet. I love them so much. I actually don't eat a lot of chocolate to be honest like I never go. Um, and like buy chocolate unless like you know someone gives it to you as a gift you know you eat it but i don't really spend my money on chocolate but anyways getting into the video today i'm going to be talking about my tips and hacks on how to survive college as a pre-med or whatever major you are and these are just like what helped me stay on track and get good grades and all that stuff i hope you guys learn from this video and also if you guys have any you know tips and hacks as well please leave them in the comments down below so everyone can learn from that as well so yeah let's get right into it um so the first tip i want to give you guys is whenever you're in class don't ever take your notes on your computer or whatever it is you may be using um just because First of all, the way I do it is I write all my notes down because you are more likely to remember it if you write it down. But if you're just typing it on your computer, obviously, I mean, you will sort of remember it, but not as much as you um, would remember if you'd written it down on paper. But when I take notes, I print out the lecture notes that, you know, the professor would give you, or if they don't, that's fine. I write down everything on paper because if I type it on my computer, I'm not really going to remember because I'm just typing it. But if I write it down, I'm more likely to remember it. Or if you have like a tablet as well, you can write down on. It doesn't have to be paper, but just as long as you're writing it down, it will help you remember everything a lot more faster. So I recommend you do that. So tip number two. So my second tip is, um, let's say you have, well, I don't really know if this is going to work for everyone because honestly, even for me, it's really hard to do that. 
Um, I really struggle with procrastination and I'm sure everyone does. I'm pretty sure a lot of students in college do procrastinate or even if you're in high school, um, procrastination is really bad. So basically what I try to do is let's say I have five essays to write and never mind I never have five essays to write so so let's say I have a couple of assignments to do so I start with the the one that takes like a short amount of time like I just do the smaller assignments first and then when you get those out of the way you'd have fewer assignments to do so um I would first do the assignments that take the least amount of time and after I get those out of the way I go to the assignments that take a lot of time which is gonna be really hard to do um, I can never actually do something like I always wait till this like it's due tomorrow to do it because that's just the way I am I just always pr procrastinate because that's just easier for me but you can also just um, do whatever is the hardest assignment or whatever assignment you're not really wanting to do first you can you know get that out of the way first and then do the smaller assignments but that's just the way i like to do it is just get the smaller assignments done and like out of the way first and then go to the huge assignment that i really do not want to do especially writing a paper or an essay i hate writing so tip number three so tip number three is you know to have a really cozy and nice appealing uh study environment or work environment you might like studying at the library in your room or whatever it is as long as it's appealing to you like i can't study in my room if it's not clean i can't study um you know somewhere that's just like not clean and not pretty um like in my room i have these um lights um all the way and i have like i plug it up and i have a little dimmer so if it's at night i can dim it if i want to so i can make it brighter and i feel like that's that just creates a really cozy uh, environment for me to study i know most people don't like studying in their rooms which i don't always study in my room i usually study at the library but I also like studying in my room if I don't want to go to the library. If I'm in my room and if I just feel like studying, if my room is not clean, I can't really study. I clean my room. Uh, I turn on my uh, Christmas lights. Well, if it's night time, I make it a little dimmer just because it, I want to feel, you know, cozy. And I light up my candles and everything and then I'm... And that creates a really good environment for me to study but it all depends on what you prefer and what you like that's what i like to do and you can do obviously what makes you uh feel comfy and just whatever works with you is what's important tip number four is i don't know if you guys have heard of the caffeine nap i think that's what it's called so basically when you drink coffee it takes about a few minutes for it to get in your system and you know to keep you awake i don't really drink coffee that much i actually don't drink coffee at all um but i do this if i really need to stay up and study so i drink coffee i don't really use sugar in my coffee though which is a personal preference but it doesn't really matter so I drink my coffee and I take like a 15 to 20 minute nap. After I take my nap, I wake up and then I feel really energized and I can stay up for longer to study. The caffeine doesn't get in your system, you know, as soon as you drink it, obviously. So if you take that nap, the caffeine nap or whatever it's called, I'm not really sure. By the time you wake up, you feel more energized and you've already taken a nap. Now you have energy. So that's going to help you stay up longer. All right, guys. So tip number five is taking study breaks. I usually like taking breaks every 30 to 40 minutes um, of studying, especially on days that I have to study the whole day. I, I can't just sit there on the table for 12 hours and just study the whole day. I like taking uh, 30 to 40 minute breaks, whether it's walking around or, you know, watching YouTube videos or just really anything, uh, staying on my phone, going on Instagram or just any type of break but I just cannot uh, sit there for 12 straight hours and just study because um, it's really gonna get boring. Your mind is gonna work better when you do take breaks, so I definitely recommend you do that. I have a problem with looking at the viewfinder instead of the lens, which is why it might not look like I'm looking at you, which I it does now, but you know, I forget to look at the lens because I just wanna look at myself when I'm talking. But yeah, so that's tip number five. I think you guys should definitely, uh, you know, take breaks. Whether it's every 20 to 30 minutes or 30 to 40 minutes, it doesn't really matter. Um, but just taking breaks is really important. 
So tip number six is getting all your classes, you know, three days a week or four days a week. Like my classes currently are only four days a week. I go to school Monday to Thursday and then I have Friday, Saturday, and Sunday off. For me, it's better to have five classes in one day than having like, you know, having like to spread them out and going to class every single day just because I would like to just get done with it four days a week and then have three days break. So try to schedule your classes like that. Well, scheduling classes is really frustrating as it is but if you can uh, if it is possible i would recommend you doing that but it's still a preference if you don't like to do it then you don't have to do it but for me that really helps me so i i don't have to go all the way to class and then you know just die and um yeah or you can also uh take all your classes in two days like monday wednesday or tuesday thursday if you want to go all out and just go crazy uh which is probably going to drain you and i wouldn't really recommend that three days is the least amount of days you can go to class i don't know but it's just up to you really so uh, okay there's just a lot going on outside and it's really distracting me i don't know what they're having out there i recommend you do that so you don't have to go to class every single day or like five days a week to have more breaks from school i just feel like taking your classes three or four days a week um really like frees up your time it's better to have three days of going crazy where you're like super busy and then having three days off, i mean or three or four days off because for me personally i really like traveling and i like taking my classes three days a week and as soon as i get back from school i go to work like where i work it's actually really nice because i can actually study there i actually study a lot more when i'm at work it really helps me out in that way i go to school in the morning and then i go to work i can study there i study after work but i don't really study on the weekends i really like traveling and it just really uh helps me take my mind off of all the stressful things that are going on in my life during the week for me if I take my classes four days per week, then I have three days per week to travel and go places to just take my mind off of school, work, and all the stressful things. That's why I like to do that. Uh, but for you guys, I'm sure there are things that you like to do. So you can take your weekend and you can do whatever you want with it. Don't define yourself as just a college student. Like when someone's like, so um, who are you? You're like, oh no, I just go to college. Like that's just part of your life that's not really who you are just wasting your whole week in school is for me i don't think that's a good idea but if that's what you want to do you can but for me personally i don't like to do that i'd rather go to class three or four days a week i'd rather just finish everything i have to do in those four days and take those three days off just for me for myself do whatever i would like to do that i would not be able to do during those four days so that's why i like having that schedule but it all depends on what you want to do. Tip number seven is for those of you who struggle waking up in the morning if you have an early class. My earliest class last semester was at 8 a.m. This semester it's like 9.30ish, so I still need to be up in the morning. Actually for my 9.30 class, I actually wake up in the morning and go to the gym and then go to my class, so 9.30 is not really that early to me, but I know it is for most students, so my tip here, or what helped me last semester to get up early, because I usually uh, go to the gym before class because I'll be like way too tired to go to the gym after class. So my advice to you is to set your alarm and put your phone all the way across the room. So when it does go off, instead of just snoozing it, you can actually get up and you know because your phone is all the way across the room so you'd actually have to get up. That actually really helped me last semester and also not staying up late and not eating late. I don't even eat after 8 30 p.m honestly i just don't even want to eat it's not that i want to eat but i'm just like stopping myself it's like i don't even want to eat after 8 30 because what's the point i'm going to bed why do i need to eat because i'm going to bed obviously and i also don't re recommend you guys staying up um past midnight because i don't really know like i can't really say anything about this because it might depend like on your schedule maybe you work uh really late i also work pretty late but i still wouldn't really have to stay past midnight unless i'm studying obviously but if that's not the case like i'm not really gonna stay up past midnight just staying on my phone like i used to in high school just staying on my phone or like watching netflix or just whatever watching videos personally it just really drains my energy for the next day so i wouldn't really do that 
So as soon as I get home, I just like writing down like what I have to do for the next day like on my planner And after I'm done doing that, I just don't have any other reason to stay up So I just go straight to bed which really helps you rest which is really gonna help you for the next day It's gonna make you more energized and yeah, it's just gonna really help you Tip number eight I think this is the most important tip is make a friend in class. It doesn't matter if it's a guy or girl. Like for me personally, my freshman year, I've missed a lot of classes traveling. I didn't really make friends my first semester of freshman year. I missed a lot of classes. My freshman year was by far just the most challenging semester ever. At that point, I wasn't really familiar with how college worked. I missed a lot of classes traveling. You're gonna need that someone in your class that's gonna update you with what's going on. Or if they miss a class, you can update them. But either way, you have to make a friend in every class that you're taking because trust me, there's gonna come a time that you're gonna be like, oh my God, I wish I had a friend in this class. If you don't understand something, if they don't understand something, you guys can help each other out. If you want a study partner, just whatever it is you need that has something to do with a class, Having a friend in that class is really going to help you. That is very, very, very important. So please make a friend in every class that you're taking right now. Because had I done that my first semester of my freshman year, my GPA would have been a lot better. Which I'm not saying it's bad right now, but it just would have been better. Yeah, that would really, really be beneficial unless you're someone that never misses class. But even if you are someone that never misses class, you might help the other person. You know, you can keep them updated, but either way, you are gonna need at least one friend in your class. It's really gonna help you out with everything that's going in class that day in case you can't make it if you're sick, if you're traveling somewhere, or for some reason you can't make it to class. Tip number nine, it's really hard trying to keep yourself from going out all your friends are going out so me in high school i used to go out every day i know that's really weird thinking about it now but it wasn't even like an every weekend thing it was like an every day going out every day kind of thing and when i think about it now like i don't know how i was able to like go to school get back home and then go out and just doing this every single day it's just really mind-blowing to me now that i think about it but when you get to college, you can't really be carelessly going out, especially for me. Like, I'm here by myself. I don't really have family here. I'm just going to college. It's just a completely different experience. You have a lot more responsibilities, and you can't really do that if you're carelessly going out every time. Well, I'm obviously the same person I was in high school, but just the way my mind works, I would say has definitely changed. I'm never really here on weekends. I'm usually always traveling, but... From Monday to Thursday, especially on Thursdays, um, most of my friends are always going out. I go out every other weekend or so, but I don't even go out every weekend, honestly. Just for me, it's not worth it anymore. I mean, it's fun and everything. I do go out, like, if it's Halloween or Christmas, just whatever holiday there is. Um, but just the concept of going out every weekend. I just cannot go out and have fun when I know I have something do like after the weekend. The only way that I would go out is if I know 100% that I'm done doing everything that I have to do for every single class and when I know I'm 100% like done and I have nothing else to do. I can go out then but that's not really the case here the case with every college student is it doesn't matter if you have an exam if, it doesn't matter if you have a paper due all the peer pressure from all of your friends is gonna make you want to go out I do sometimes but just what I'm trying to say is I don't do it as much as I used to in high school so basically if you want to have fun on the weekend you have to earn it or the way i see it is i have to earn it monday to thursday i don't want to waste not even a minute of my week not studying or not doing something towards my school so i can earn whatever i'm doing on the weekend if, if it's going out with friends or traveling whatever it is that you're doing just whatever it is you want to do if you're thinking about doing that on the weekend just know that you have to earn that so you have to be really productive during your weekdays because if you're just gonna sleep all day after class sleep around whatever and then the weekend comes and you're going out how are you really progressing yourself as long as you use your three or four days of the week effectively that's really enough like to get straight A's well I have a 4.0 GPA right now and I don't really study every single day I study from Monday to Thursday as soon as I wake up I go to the gym I go to class I go to work, I study at work all the time. 
I get back from work. I study after I get back from work and that's just what my whole like Monday to Thursday consists of. And then when it comes to the weekend, I can kind of like relax a little bit, but I'm also usually studying on Sunday nights just because I have class the next day. So yeah, my tip is not to really go out as much as you used to in high school or as you used to last semester because you know now all the effects that it has academically so yeah just don't really do that as much as you used to so my last tip is to stay active you might be like no i just want to focus on my school or i just want to focus on this trust me you're gonna have that extra 30 or 45 minutes or an hour per day so like me personally so you just have to like give up that one thing that's that you do every single day that's like in your daily routine that you don't really need like for me for example i used to really like wearing makeup when i first moved here i used to spend like an hour to hour and a half doing my makeup every single morning the whole semester that's what i've been doing freshman year first semester was really hectic it was really crazy i used to wear makeup every single day to class which i think is really crazy now that i think about it and i always used to complain about like oh my god i don't have enough time to work out blah 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 i decided to change my habits and i really changed a lot of things that i did i was like okay wait i have to like somehow make time to work out because i really actually wanted to work out so i was like hmm, what do i do every single day that i don't really need to do and the first thing that came to my mind was makeup because i know i spend a lot of time doing my makeup so i was like mm, maybe i should like stop doing that why am i even wearing makeup to go to class thinking about it now it's just really funny like because i don't really need it i was like okay i'm gonna use the time that i use to wear my makeup i'm gonna use that time and just go to the gym so i stopped doing my makeup second semester of my freshman year and instead of doing my makeup i started going to the gym every morning i really enjoy working out as well so i was like i can actually do this every single day so i completely stopped doing my makeup i never do my makeup when i go to school now at all i only do my makeup like when i go out or when i'm going somewhere but i never actually do it when i'm going to school so i used that time that i used to do my makeup and i started working out you guys can also look for that one thing that you do every single day that you don't really have to do so yeah that's what helped me um be active but being active doesn't always mean going to the gym you can also participate in sports in your college like volleyball or football or soccer whatever um whatever it is that you want to do as long as it's going to make you physically active that is actually all you need because that's really going to help you out in college college can really be stressful and it's going to have an effect on your mental health and mental health is really important and working out or staying active staying physically active is really going to help you so i recommend stay, like staying active i promise it's going to change your life you're going to feel a way better you're gonna be more productive. That is really like something that everyone needs to do, I believe. All right guys, so that is it for today's video. I hope you learned a lot from my tips and hacks for college. If you guys have any tips, please be sure to leave them down in the comments below. And I know college can be stressful sometimes, but I promise it's really the best uh, experience because you're really in control of everything. Even though you have a lot of responsibilities, you're still in control of your life and you can still do whatever you like doing, whatever makes you happy. Once we all graduate, it's really gonna get better. I know if you do implement these in college, you will be successful and the whole process will be less stressful, hopefully. I hope you learn from this and I hope you implement these in college. If you like this video and found this helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Or is it backwards? I don't know. But please give it a thumbs up. And also, oh wow, this is more difficult than I thought it would be. So like, I couldn't really um, set my camera up. So I had to put my like clock right here. And then I have this sign in my room. So I had to like put my camera on these. No, I can't put it back in. Oh, look, there we go. So anyways, for everyone in college, you got this. 
so don't forget that anyway so guys don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy these videos and also comment down below what you guys want to see next week and what kind of videos you want me to do and yeah i really enjoy making these videos and sharing my ideas and tips and tricks to you guys i hope you found them helpful and thank you so much for watching it really means a lot to me that you guys are watching it and supporting me i really appreciate it and thanks for the support so i'll see you guys maybe next week maybe not maybe the week after i don't really know when i'm gonna see you next but i hope i see you soon thank you so much for watching i love you all so so much i'll see you guys whenever i see you guys I'm a